Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and today it is what's sold on eBay for the week of July 30th through August 5th. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be doing a crazy series starting tomorrow. I'm going to be opening up eight cases of the Disney Pixar, uh, the 37th anniversary Oscars edition trading cards. I'm going to be opening up one box a day for as long as it takes. Um, but every single day I am going to be giving away something on my channel. So I hope you can join me, bring your friends, tell anybody that loves or likes trading cards or likes Disney. Um, now we'll be giving away some of the cards, uh, maybe some of the, the nicer sets. I mean, I can't give away all the time, but, um, I can give away, um, a few of them <laughs> and I also have some Pixar plus that I might be giving away too so um, hopefully uh, you join me every single day and hopefully you like the the different content that I'm showing um, I'm gonna I have some more of the art uh, the art boards I bought a few more of those so I'm gonna be doing an opening of that because I got brand new ones so um, yeah, join me <laughs> uh, anyways uh, let's get into the video and I'll show you what sold uh, we'll start with the plush. Uh, people seem to like the plush first, and then I will hit the collectibles and everything else at the end. Uh, so the report for July 30th through August 5th, my total sales are $3,026.09. Up 69% from last week. Uh, last week was not a great week. Um, well, yeah, <laughs> obviously, right? Uh, selling cost of $693.39. Uh, net sales of $2,140.10. Quantity sold, I sold 87 items. Um, my average sale price was $34.78. Oh, not a bad week this week. Uh, made up uh, last week was terrible. <laughs> Alright, first one. Um, this is a Disney Pixar. Oh, talk about Disney Pixar, right? Uh, this is a Disney Pixar Toy Story for Ducky. Um, I picked this up at the Disney store a while ago. Uh, they were on clearance for, I believe, like 99 cents or something. So, of course, I picked them all up. Uh, they finally all sold, and they sold for $16.14. Next one, this is a Gund Pusheen Dino Sheen, Blue Dino uh, cat uh, Pusheen are very good uh, plush. Um, they actually will sell better if they're still in the bag. I didn't know that. I opened this one. And um, yeah. <laughs> I've had a few people ask me, hey, will you, uh, are they still in the bags? And they are. The only one that's not in the bag was the one that I opened for the pictures, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it says a whole bunch of information on the bag. I don't have the, the bag here to show you, but um, a lot of the collectors do like them still sealed in the bags. And I'm going to be doing a top 20 video on Pusheen uh, probably this week sometime. So stay tuned for that. Kelly Toy Purple Furry Bunny Rabbit with silver. He's got silver glittery ears you can see right there. Uh, he's just a generic bunny. I probably picked him up for like 50 cents. Oh my... Or I should say almost all my plush I pick up for 50 cents. I'm not going to pay more than 50 cents for a plush. Um, unless I know it's going to flip real fast. Which is not really possible in plush most of the time. Uh, he sold for $19.54. Dandy Easter Bunny. I know it's crazy. I'm selling a lot of bunnies lately. Uh, this is Dandy Easter Bunny with floppy pink ears. You see right there he has... Uh, one of those noses where they like sew it over and over and over again so you can see the little fur like coming through it um pretty little bunny uh I'll show you the tag real fast there's the dandy's uh tag he sold for eighteen dollars and sixty nine cents uh despicable me i just listed this guy maybe a week ago um this is the one with a winter coat i actually have uh one that's shaped like a banana, so that one's real funny too. Uh, that one hasn't sold yet, but this one sold right away within, I think, uh, about a week. I listed them. And he sold for $24.64. Uh, M&M Chocolate Candies, uh, Red Posable. This one actually went out of the country. Uh, he sold for $43.67. Cost me 11 
eleven ninety nine to ship out of the country, so about thirty one dollars in profit just for this posable guy right here. So nice profit on that guy. Fingerlings. This is a uh, fingerlings. Hugs Bella. Uh, this thing talks, giggles, the uh, eyes move up and down. I picked these up at uh, GameStop a long time ago when they were clearing out all their plush and everything else. I picked these up for $2 a piece. Sold through, I don't know, 50 100 I don't know. There, there was a lot. <laughs> uh, it took over a whole shelf. It was just nothing but fingerlings. They were on top. They were on bottom. Um, I, have, I believe this is my last one that's here. Um, I'll have to search, but <laughs> I might still have more. But yeah, this one finally, I'm finally getting low on these fingerlings. Uh, this one sold for $29.74. Cribmates, a doll teether. This is elephant. It says dream big on it. Uh, of course, I wash these all because they're going to babies before I ship them out but wanted to show you this one because a lot of people just get rid of all the baby toys and they will still sell as long as they're nice and clean and they look clean people will buy them so make sure you list them up uh, he sold for sixteen dollars and fourteen cents uh, Spongebob Squarepants <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the hat confused me because it's like rippled. I'm like, what what's going on here? But yeah, it's just a wrinkle in the hat. I, it comes down. So yeah, I was like staring at it for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, he sold for $21.24. Yeah, that's the way the hat's supposed to look. So that's why I was confused just staring at it right there. <laughs> uh, there you go. Next one we have, uh, this is a Secret Life of Pets McDonald's. I have, I had so many of these. Um, I had a huge bag. I didn't know what to do with them, so I just started making sets. Uh, a lot of five, a lot of six, a lot of seven. Um, I think there's ten of them in total. I'm not sure anymore. Um, but, because I've been selling a lot of these. Um, this is a lot of seven. And it sold for $23.79. They're not going to sell alone, but when you lot them up, they actually make you some money. Uh, for real, friends, there's a lot of two horses. This one is, um, you tap its back and the, the horse walks. So, not a, not a, anything special. It's not like the normal for real uh, friends where they eat carrots or they eat or they chomp or they make noise. They This one just gallops, so. Um, the lot of two sold for $25.49. Uh, Thai Classic Bailey Brown Puppy Dog. Uh, the Thai Classics do pretty well. The Thai Beanie Babies, you know, they most of them are just a scam. So they really don't sell very well. Uh, but anyways, the, the Classics do pretty well. They are bread and butter, of course. They don't sell for a million dollars. But this one I got $19.54. Speaking about regular Thai classics, or not Thai classics, but the, the Beanie Boos and the Beanies. Um, this guy put together with this guy. They're kind of similar. They look cute. And took about a month to sell, and they sold for $16.99. Uh, this guy alone will only go for like $10. And he, since he's a generic Walmart, uh, maybe like 5 6 bucks. So together, I got a little bit more out of it. Build-A-Bear, White English Boo Dog Boxer. You can see this one's funny. It has his tongue sticking out. Um, actually, it still has his tag on it, which was uh, surprisingly. Um, I rarely find Build-A-Bear with a tag still on it. Uh, listed him about, I'd say, three, four months ago. Um, but he sold, and he sold for $27.19. Squishmallow, Mickey Mouse, Disney Collection. Um, I picked up a bunch of these when the shutdown was happening. Uh, people were going crazy over the Squishmallows. I stopped picking up Disney ones because they were not selling. And they're finally starting to sell. This is the second Mickey I have sold on the last few months. So hopefully they're picking up. But a lot of the, the Disney characters were not selling. It was the, like the odd Boba and Bulldog and weird things like that were selling great. But Disney was not. So... 
Um, anyways, he sold for $31.44. Alright, on to the collectibles. And I have two bonus ones at the end because they were really great sales. And I didn't do this last week, so I wanted to include a couple of great sales that I had last week. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is the Kiss Rock Headliners XL. It's like a bobblehead. You can see there's his tongue sticking out. And it's a limited... Uh, 5822 out of 25,000 uh, sold for $29.74. This is a huge box. This is a Star Wars Hong Kong commemorative edition. Uh, of course, I got this from my tour guy. There's no way I would <laughs> go to Hong Kong to pick this up. Um, I mean, I guess they could ship it here, but uh, good luck getting it here in one piece, right? Uh, but anyways, um, this one sold for $93.49. Nightmare Before Christmas, Snowmobile Jack Skellington. You can see he has his hat and his glasses and he's riding a snowmobile. <laughs> uh, this one's shocking. Uh, this one took about six months to sell. Um, mostly all the, the other Jack Skellington and Nightmare Before Christmas items sold super fast. Um, but Jack by himself, or I guess people don't like the snowmobile, uh, took a little while to sell. He sold for $33.99. Bambi Kakawao. This is uh, one of the cards. Sorry guys, if you're not into cards, i am gotten kind of deep into cards. <laughs> I actually did a big buy lately. So yeah, you'll be seeing a few of the cards uh, popping up here and there. Um, well, hopefully you join me in the journey and get into cards because they're really easy to photograph and to ship and take care of and they don't take up a lot of space and they're pretty cool. Look at that. This is a shiny Bambi. Uh, picked this up for, I believe I paid $50 for him and he sold for $127.49 and the reason why he did that because he is limited. You can see he is number 55 out of 100, so he's uh, one of the limited cards. Uh, Peppa Pig Transforming Camper Van Playset. Uh, I picked these, picked a ton of these up. I believe I have 10 of them. I have to change the listing here. Uh, I believe I have 10 more. So far, I've sold two um, for $110.49, and I believe I paid $20 each for these, if I'm not mistaken. Now, uh, the first one sold within uh, maybe a month of me listing it, and the second one, when I relisted it, it's taking about an another two months. So, hopefully, when Christmas time comes around, uh, these will be flying off the shelf. Next one, uh, this is some of the, the limited edition art prints that I showed you on the last, uh, I think it was the last video I did. Um, but anyways, some of the art prints have sold. Uh, this is 81 out of 255. This is Stitch. Look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> How can you not like Stitch? Now, I actually got a replacement for him, so I'm re going to relist him. But yeah, there's only um, about 32 of each print that were made because there's only 300 cases. Very limited on these art prints, so they will start jumping up in price. So if you see any, pick them up. Uh, another print sold. This is Chicken Little, uh, sold for one hundred and twenty-seven dollars and forty-nine cents. Really cool Chicken Little. I don't know how I did that with the pointers. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> uh, eBay's messing with me, uh, but yeah. Really nice limited edition photo, and I believe I sold one more. Yeah, I sold this Ariel. Whoops, it is jumping around on me. I sold this Ariel limited edition art print. There's flounder, I guess, kind of floundering, and Sebastian. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one sold for $127.49. Kiss music. Whoa, my screen is jumping on me. Kiss Music, this is uh, Mount Kissmore statue, 447 out of 500. This is brand new sealed, so I never took this guy out of the box. There's Gene and all the rest. Don't ask me to recite them all. I'll, I'll never get them right. <laughs> this one sold for $84.99. 
Uh, come on, don't jump on me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, of course, I have to show you one of my Hot Wheel sales. Uh, this is a Meg Mega Ladon and Dragon Ice and Fire set. Now, this is, I believe, a Walmart exclusive. Yeah, Walmart exclusive sold for $67.99. Die Hard. Whoops. Come on. <laughs> the screen is going crazy. Um, this is uh, one of the sales from last week that I wanted to show you. This is a Die Hard Game Fan Magazine issue 2. Um, I pulled this out of the garage. It was just sitting there. Um, got this, I believe, at one of the... I believe it was E3 one of the one of those years. I used to go to E3 all the time and they were just giving away the magazines and I kept them uh, I kept it pretty nice. So someone uh, gave me a best offer of $350 and I decided to take it. I mean, I didn't know what to list it at to begin with. The last one sold for I believe 2 or 250. So 350 I figured like it was a uh, very decent offer so I took that. Not bad for a free magazine, right? And last but not least, if it wants to stop jumping. <laughs> uh this is a Kiss water fountain. This one actually spits out blood, you can see. <laughs> uh you put like a blood pack in it and it's motorized and yeah, this is a crazy kiss fountain. It sold for $110.49. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. Hopefully, you guys join me for trading card openings and having a whole bunch of goofy times um, every single day. And like I said, I'll be giving away a whole bunch of stuff. But anyways, catch you later. Bye.